Get good reps in here, gentlemen. Focus on what you need to do. Have a plan before you get to your station. What do I need to work on? <clears throat> Make sure we're hitting strikes this time of year. Stay in the strike zone. Don't get bad habits. Bryce Conway, I've been the Riceville Athletic Director for 14 years and been teaching and coaching here for 21. You're doing it 11 months of the year. Well, you'd say 12 because there's never any downtime. There's always something to do for sure. It never ends. It's uh, intrinsically rewarding, but it can be mentally exhausting if you let it be. And uh, you just try day to day to have a checklist and try to do your best to make sure you're moving forward and progressing and um, getting things done. As an athletic director, you know, I, I can't do everything and I have a very supportive wife at home that does a lot of stuff for my kids. I have four children and um, they have a lot of activities of their own going on, which I try to support as well when I can. My wife is awesome that way. She knows the, the day to day things better than I do. Bryce truly enjoys coaching. Obviously, if he didn't, he wouldn't do it. But I always think that he gets to do his passion so I can do mine, which is stay at home with the kids. And, and be a mom during the summer and take them where they need to go. It's a balance, it's, it's work, it's communication, but he gets to do his thing and I get to do mine. The summer aspect of it compared to other states, obviously I was the only state that has summertime baseball, softball. However, I very much enjoy that, especially as a coach. I would rather play in the summer than the spring. The opportunity to play when the weather is good and then also to have your own season and not be constricted with uh, track, golf, tennis. You know, being an athletic director, I'm obviously at all of our home stuff for the most part. If I'm not coaching football, I still see them on the field and see how they interact with each other and see them compete or volleyball or whatever it might be. And um, it's really rewarding for me to see their successes, whether small or big, see their growth. He treats everybody res with respect. I've never seen him like talk badly about someone ever. I've seen him outside of school and he's just a good guy. I don't want to let him down, so I try to be as responsible um, and attentive to detail as I can. You know, he brings synergy where basically the team is greater than the individual. So as an athletic director and also coaching summer baseball, I, I rely heavily on our softball coach, Andrea Bauer, to help me. And uh, she kind of does a little bit of my work for me, and that's an awesome thing, and you really need a lot of help. It takes a village, so to speak, so I rely on people and I trust people, and she does a great job with that. We bounce ideas off of each other a lot. like. I have assistant coaches too, and um, sometimes you just need an outside perspective. So. We have three, four sport athlete kids that are also involved in other, other extracurriculars, um, fine arts, um, FFA, and they're very well-rounded kids. And in the moment, it's very, very busy for them, and our coaches do a good job of understanding that and try not to impose too much of their time to let them be kids a little bit too, yet know that you, know, you have to give your time to get something out of it. And I think that you know, we do a really good job here of those things. Does it, then that works for you? Are you, like, you have no fair commitment Friday? No. Okay. I have a, it's called, what is it called? Buyer's Choice Thursday. You can wash them down, tie them up, and have someone come look at them. So. Okay, no, here's the thing. Don't feel like you, like, that's important, right? So don't feel like you have to be here. But if you can make it, that's great. I don't know what your afternoon looks like. We, I think our bus leaves at 2 that day. So just keep in touch with me, okay? And if you have to miss, that's okay. Not a big deal. He just has great relationships with all of the kids, not just the athletes, all of the kids. And he truly cares about the athlete as an individual, not just how they perform on the playing field. Bryce's mantra, I would say for him, I don't know if he'd say this, is you leave people and things, you leave them better than how you found them. And that's him to a T. We didn't have cross country and now he's a cross country coach. Two, three years ago, we had 11 or 12 kids out for baseball. Now we have 27. That speaks, that speaks volumes. Probably his most success, successful sport was girls high school track. He took them to multiple uh, individuals to state and that's, he's not a part of that anymore. So once again, leaving it better than how he found it so he could pass it on to somebody else. He lives that, leave things better than how you found them. And that includes people too. You know, there's nothing better, in my opinion, than small town Iowa, rural Iowa schools. It's Riceville Community School for a reason. The community supports the school very well. We're very well attended in all of our things, extracurricular wise. The, the parents and we have fans and um, everyone's very enthusiastic of our kids. They come support through thick and thin. And you know, I think the kids really buy into that too, where they get nice crowds, whether it's basketball, baseball, football, 
yeah, it's just really neat to see our community come together, support the school, um, be here, be involved for the kids, be there for the kids. So it's a really neat aspect of being a small rural Iowa school.